it's Tuesday and you know this is the night that Betty Kiala transports us into the world of how things are made. And tonight she explores the amazing world of man's imagination in creating powerful machinery. One that crushes huge rocks and sandstones into smaller pebbles. Dig. Destroy. Nothing's impossible. Dirt is their second name. Dust is their third. While at work, do not disturb. Yes, they are machines, still made, but they are super smart and super fast. They twist and turn, sometimes robotic. They are fearless. Call them earth movers. A great example of man's enthusiasm to dig deeper and ferry heavier. Ever wondered what earth movers can do? Tonight, we'll show you on how things work. In road construction, mining, quarries, you'll find them. Operated by humans, they can do wonders. They have engines, but bigger. Their hydraulic system is what makes these machines twist, turn and lift. The hydraulic pump, it pumps the hydraulic fluid. It's the one that powers the, the hydraulics to the relevant part that is supposed to be operated. Tonight, I will showcase the most commonly used earth movers in the world. This is the excavator. Excavation or digging is the job. It is used in quarries, road construction, mining and demolitions. The excavators have variable operating weights that range from 1 ton to 88 tons. This means their workload is relative to their weight. The excavators are standard equipped with buckets which load materials after excavation. The bigger the excavator, the bigger the bucket capacity. For these machines, we mostly prefer them with the tonnage because the tonnage is what determines the work you are going to do. After excavation, especially in quarries and mining sites, this next earth mover known as the dump truck joins in. With its huge ground clearance, tires and large carrying capacity, the dump truck basically transports heavy materials after excavation. Whoa. They are mostly used in underground mining, industrial sites and quarries. When it is loaded, it is up around 70 tons. So that's why we call it off-highway trucks because it is not recommended to use on the normal roads. So huge! are the dump trucks that one tire weighs approximately 1,000 kilograms and each costs up to 2 million shillings. Because of their heavy weights, the earth movers cannot be driven on the highways. Instead, they are loaded onto this low loader that you have probably seen on the highways. Like this one, when you're carrying it, you realize when you load it on a loader, it goes a bit high. So when you are passing the normal flyovers, you find the height, the recommended height is higher. So we remove the wheels and then we put you in the road. They say good things come in small packages. And this right here depicts that statement. It is known as a dozer. Many know it as the bulldozer. And mostly it is used when, when you are clearing green land. For instance, if there is a road that is supposed to be made in a place, the first the first machine to, uh, to be on the site to clear the roads is this. After the dozer clears vegetation for construction, the next machine, a grader, comes in. The grader is said to be the most commonly used at mover, mainly used in road construction. It comes with a blade stretching diagonally on its underbelly, which is used to level or even out the ground. After the grader levels out the ground, the machine that is likely to come in is this, the roller. With a huge and heavy drum, this roller that weighs 12 tons is mostly used for maram roads to compact the soil after leveling with the grader. Now this is how we start the machine. Just come. This is the ignition switch. Just come. Put the machine on. And then before you operate, we have uh, the 
hydraulic system lock. This is the lock. I can show you here. This is the lock. You just put it on. Once you put it on, everything now is activated. Once you go to the operation now, you can do anything you want with this machine. So just how do you operate these humongous machines? These are the pedals for using uh, legs. When I push forward, the machine moves forward. These are the levers for using hands when you want to operate using hands. First of all, you make sure you, you grab them more well hmm, and you take care of your safety and then you just move them slowly in the direction you want. If you're moving forward, if you want to move uh, behind, you can move them like that. Now you're moving, yeah? And if you want to steer, you can use only one, one lever. If you use one lever, the machine, the machine steers. You see, if you use one lever, the machine steers. Over the years, the earth movers have become bigger and better, digging deeper and carrying mighty heavier materials. And that is what earth movers can do. Betty Kialo, how things work.